What is going on, my friends? Ken the Gamer 04. Welcome back to LA Nor. This is part three of The Naked City. Uh, let's hope that there isn't much to do. I think we have to interview someone one more time. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure. No, let's not look at the clues. Pretty sure I do have to interview Stoneman again, maybe. And then we'll see what's going on from there. Can you drive to this one? Yeah, we're gonna make him drive because we don't like driving. That's one fact. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. Who? That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? I should have never told you that. Mmm, Roy and Cole. Got a rivalry going on here. Alrighty, what floor are they on again? Uh, Coleman? Mm -hmm. Second floor, it looks like. Do, 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 do. I don't know how he does that. Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. <laughs> Good old fashioned knuckle sandwich. And I believe he's 505, which is this guy right here. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you came. Oh, yeah. Prison Look at that. better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Come on. You know that I loved her. I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. The practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. What have I done? Oh my god. No freaking way. Oh my god. Operator, give me I am so going to hell for laughing, but oh my god. <laughs> what the hell did I just see? Immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Ivor Street, Hollywood. En route, Detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. Ma'am. Do, do we talk to you or something? Ma'am. I know how hard this might be, but like... I'm at a loss. Okay. What are we missing? 
Let's go back to the apartment. <laughs> oh my god. This dude just like... Ah, uh, God, dude. Why? This dude had a... I thought he was giving that up. That old boy really fell for that broad. I actually thought... I actually thought he was gonna give himself away up. for a woman? Life has a way of making a pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for its chomps. Just like you. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place. What's up, guys? Oh my god. I've got friends that work with you. Hey guys. How about five bucks for the He jumped out the window. Thank God I didn't park there. <laughs> uh isn't that the cop who won the medal and is solving all the cases? Yep, yeah, that's me. You scarred could drive. for life. Literally scarred for life. Holy crap. One AM. Why one in the morning? Huh? It's a former wrestler, so... He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. Wait. Bull. Do you hear that? Sounds like something out of an old western. The scumbag has to be somewhere. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. What? Oh no! Oh, dummy head's making a run for it. Where'd he go? He is right up there. Where are you at, boy? Tommy had thought he was getting away, but no, sir. Dude, how far up does he have to go? Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. There he is! Wait, the son of a bitch. really picked this spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. My God. Saw her on this lab. So perfect. 
Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Well, you had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. Is that seriously it? It is. Trace of morphine at the crime scene would have put a smile on Carruthers' face. Change. Okay, that does it for this episode. Yeah, that does it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this 10-minute video. <laughs> I'll uh, catch you guys uh, Friday. Goodbye.